Hey everyone, and welcome back to Avid Max Fly Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady Lair, and today we're going to tie a UV worm. This is the Anderson UV worm. He's an Umqua Feather Merchants royalty tire and a part of the Utah Fly Fishers Hall of Fame. So a neat little pattern created by Mickey Anderson. That's very simple to tie, but it'll put a lot of fish in the net for you. If you're okay with fish and worms, I would fish this worm. So we're gonna walk our thread on back. I got our hook and our vise. This is the Daiichi 2553 octopus style hook. Tying on a size one today, pretty large trout fly here. We're just gonna use that whole profile of this to make our UV worm. So I'm gonna walk a ways down the bend and really use that curvature to my benefit. And then I'll go up a couple of wraps there just to keep that thread in place. And we can secure our body material. And for this fly, it's gonna be a little bit of Antron yarn. I'm using the spooled yarn from UTC in the red color. So we'll take a little bit of that. You can either keep it on the spool, put it on a bobbin, or just trim a little bit off like I have here and tie that in. And I'm gonna tie it in the full length of the body just to keep a nice even profile. And so we'll walk up on it as we go and secure that in place. Similar to like a pig sticker style fly, if you haven't seen Max's video on tying the pig sticker, that's a good one to check out as well. Just a different body material, similar hook, similar profile, and they're gonna fish the same. Just a different tying technique, something else to play with at the vise. Now that I have my Antron tied into place, I'm gonna walk my thread up and I'm gonna go about two thirds away up from where I ended my, my tying point, that Antron yarn, and that'll be my hot spot location. The location for the UV aspect of this UV wool worm. So I'll go ahead and half hitch. We'll throw that bobbin over on the cradle and get it out of the way. And then we can wrap the Antron on forward. And when you're doing this, you want to spin up that Antron and get it to be a nice wound fiber. You could lay it flat, but for this pattern, binding it up and then creating that segmentation as you go is the idea that you're looking for. And so we'll walk on up and as we go, we might twist that as we go forward, right on up to where our thread's waiting for us. Obviously a great attractor pattern can be fished year round in a wide, wide range of situations from still water to tail waters and free stones. It's a great attractor bug as either your lead fly, position it as your point fly, really kind of play around and just put it into the zone where you think those fish are holding. And now that we've gotten to our tie-in point there, I'm going to snag my thread again, holding tension on the Antron. And I'll go ahead and capture it in place. Just some quick locking wraps there. And then I'm going to walk over it about the length of that hook eye. Turn it up so you might be able to see that. So I'm just gonna walk over it a little bit and move that material forward, giving myself a little bit of space for my hot spot. So we'll work around it a little bit. If you have a forward material clamp, that can come into handy on this while you're doing your hot spot. And for that, I'm gonna use just a little ice stub. This is the UV Red from Hairline. We'll do a quick dubbing noodle here. And create that hot spot. Just a little bit of UV, a little bit of flash. Some of those purple underlying fibers, a little bit of pearl-ish hues to it. And 
has that little bump on the worms that you might see and helps fish with their attraction of it. A little bit more, maybe just a little bulbous hot spot. And then we can jump right back in front of that Antron yarn and work our thread up to that hook eye. And maybe just even things out a little bit here. Right on up. And then we will continue wrapping our Antron. Don't forget to give it a nice twist and bind it all together again. And you could half hitch and throw your bobbin on the cradle again, or you can wrap it by hand like this. Just twisting and keeping touching wraps right on up to your hook eye. Make that a little more pronounced there to the end where we can capture it with our thread. Very simple pattern. If you're just starting out fly tying, this would be a good one to start with because not only is it pretty easy to tie overall, you do use some different techniques with the half hitch and the, the dubbing noodle and that kind of stuff, but simple to tie and you will definitely catch fish on it, which is always a good feeling when you tie the fly that puts fish in the net for you. So we'll clip out our thread after we did our whip finish there, trim down that hot spot a little bit, and we have a finished UV worm. You can tie it in different colors. We've got the red on red here. You could add a pink hot spot, train that out. Maybe do a pink worm with a red hot spot, some purples. Something you could really play around with, with a lot of color options and catch a lot of fish on.